Hey guys, it's me Jen and so today I am going to New York City. I'm very excited about it. I'm going during fashion week which is super super cool. I'm staying with my cousins so we're gonna be leaving like five minutes from now picking up some Dunkin' and going. So I'll take you guys along with me. technically day two of my New York week here and um, today I have to go somewhere for six o'clock and it's near Soho so I'm thinking of going to Soho today and this morning it's about 10 o'clock right now I got showered I ate breakfast I did my makeup I think I may go to a coffee place that my cousins recommended me called gossip so I may go to 30th Street and um, just kind of explore around <laughs> best coffee experience I've ever had. They greeted you, they made sure you were happy, they gave you free stuff, they were giving other people complimentary things. Like, if you ever want to go there, try their pastries. They gave me a free little cookie with Nutella in it, and it was bomb, so 10 out of 10, we we'll recommend. So I just bought a bunch of fabric for really cheap and fabric markers. I spent $14 on like multiple yards of fabric. It's great. sunglasses I got from Nordstrom and look at these super cool earrings that match they're by halogen and they're also from Nordstrom so 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 right now I'm once again heading to Soho um, to chill for a little bit and then I'm gonna be coming back changing and going to Union Square for Soul Cycle <laughs> back at my cousin's apartment um in probably about 15 minutes or so i'm gonna meet her in union square and we're gonna go to soul cycle um and i think we're gonna like tool around the area for a little bit before we go to the cycling class um but i wanted to tell you guys some experiences i had today some really really like creepy weird stuff happened so i was walking around in soho um as you guys saw i went to a few designer stores to look at things that i can't afford to buy and that i want and when i came back out of the store i was walking and turning down the street i wanted to find a coffee shop before i headed back to the apartment here right now and this guy stopped me he's like oh hi and i'm like hi and i'm like trying to look at my phone because i'm, I'm just like trying to get my stuff done you know and he was like oh like where are you from are you from around here and i like lied and i was like yeah i'm from the fashion district and he was like oh well you're beautiful would you like to go out on a date with me sometime and i'm like oh i'm sorry i'm not looking and he like the thing is is i was on my phone and i was trying to like walk away from him because 
I don't mind if you want to talk to me like that's fine but it was he was following me and that's where I got like super super uncomfortable and I was like oh I'm not looking for anything right now but it was very nice to meet you and I just like kept walking away and you could tell like his face dropped I got like super scared and then I went on the train obviously to get back here and I sit down there's a construction worker that comes on and he's standing there and he like looks at me and I'm like all right whatever I'm, I'm on my phone and then he sits next to me and I'm like great he's like kind of in my personal space and he's like hi he's like you're very beautiful and I'm like oh thank you so much he's like you have beautiful eyes blah, blah, blah. I'm like thank you thank you thank you and I kept trying again looking at my phone so he could see that I just wasn't interested I mean he was a lot older than I am and he's like oh how old are you I'm like 18 he's like oh so you're not a baby and I was like all right now this is weird he's like do you live here I'm like yeah I live in the fashion district and he's like oh and I'm, he's like where's that I'm like by FIT he had no idea where that was he's like oh I'm a construction worker he definitely like English was not his first language it was very hard to understand him again he was very nice but it was still a little creepy like he was like right here you know he was very in my personal space so there were definitely like a few times where I was like, hi, um, can you please like back up? And then he's like, oh, can I have your number? I'm like, oh, I'm not interested in anything right now, but thank you for asking. And he's like, well, what about Instagram? He's like, we can be just friends. I'm like, all right. So I just gave him my fashion Instagram, not my personal Instagram. And he already has like followed me and liked like all of my pictures. It's very weird. So, and it was to the point where he was like so close to me that I actually got off and went on another car. But I'm alive, that's all that matters. right now because we're really hungry and we're gonna explore the hell out of the city today so oh, yeah. okay so we were just taking pictures at like one of these really cute apartments and this dude <laughs> came up to me and Sam when she was taking pictures of me and was like yo can I get a flick with you like yeah <laughs> yes right you can I whacked my head on the gate trying yeah. to be cute <laughs> it's been an adventure already and it's what only 12 so and we have food babies we have food babies so I don't know why we thought a photo shoot would be a good idea <laughs> Okay, so the lady in that store is the sweetest person ever. She gave us free bows. Yeah. And she's like someone who has a store basically with her art and other people's art in it. So I'm gonna leave her tag right here because you guys really need to go follow her. She's an amazing, amazing person. Like, give her a bunch of support. So yeah. <laughs>
So my dad and I, we just checked in a hotel and it's the Hilton Garden Inn that's right next to um, Spring Studios, which is a venue for Fashion Week. So we're excited. <laughs> This was on the street, so I took it. <laughs> 